hey, it's Brett, and I'm here at Mount Stromlo Observatory, where I spend lots of time working, studying space with my beloved dog, Luna. And we're going to talk about retrograde motion. Now, retrograde motion, sometimes we hear Mercury or Mars is in retrograde, but what actually is that? Well, ultimately, it's just an optical illusion. All the planets move around the sun in essentially the same direction at a constant speed. But at certain times, it can appear that the planets, or a planet, compared to the background stars, distant stars and galaxies, it's actually looking like it's moving backwards, even though it hasn't changed direction or speed. So how does this optical illusion work? Let's go do a demo to find out. So we're going to do a little demo of this. Now I'm going to be Mars or Mercury, uh, and all these planets can have mo retrograde motion compared to the Earth. You, the camera is Earth, and this is my dog Luna, and she will be my moon. Now we're all going to move about the same speed in the same direction around the sun, but we're going to be moving differently at uh, apparent motion compared to our background trees and, and playing the role of kind of the background stars. And as we start to move, we will be moving forward, but at a certain time, when you've caught up, it will look like you overtake me. And that's when I start to look like I'm moving backwards. So we're going to start moving. Come on, moon. And as we start to go, it looks like I'm moving forward. But you're going to start catching up pretty quickly. And as you start to catch up, again, compared to the background stars, the trees, it's now going to start looking like I'm going to be moving backwards. But I haven't changed my speed. I haven't changed my speed. You haven't changed your speed. We're still moving in the same direction. And I am now moving backwards to you. But now that you're starting to sufficiently catch up and pass me, it's going to look like I'm now going backwards and moving forwards again, that it's now reversed. But I haven't changed my motion and you haven't changed your motion. And so that small period where you've overtaken me and I look backwards is called a retrograde motion. So that's how retrograde motion works. Now, you can actually do this and see this quite often if you're ever in a car uh, and you're driving. Look how other cars on the road, either passing you or you passing them, look compared to the distant background. It doesn't work for something really nearby. You need the horizon or distant trees. And you will notice that anything moving at two different speeds in the same direction can have retrograde motion. This isn't a special thing to planets. This is just a thing that happens when things move at different speeds in the same direction. So retrograde motion, a regular thing that happens and not that special. Now, in fact, retrograde motion is important to our understanding of the solar system and the universe. Thousands of years ago, the model of the universe was the Earth was at the center, not the sun. But the problem was, how do you reconcile these planets or these objects that move forwards and backwards? In fact, that's where the name comes from. Planetes is wandering star. These objects were wanderers. But this problem was kind of solved when someone called Copernicus came along and said, hey, what if we put the sun at the center, not the Earth? If we put the sun at the center, this explains how we can get planets that move forward and occasionally, through an optical illusion, move backwards. So the retrograde motion of planets is important to our understanding of the universe and its history and discovery, but it's something that happens all the time. I hope you liked this video and make sure to like and subscribe to help me make more videos about the awesomeness of space and sometimes my dog will tag along too.